Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you an on-trend prom wrist corsage. Beginning with on-trend flowers, orchids are so popular. If you can't find small cut phalaenopsis, find a plant and you can cut it apart. Textural materials and succulents, again, if you can't find them individually as cut flowers, a plant is easy to use. Then for assembly, the Oasis Flow Adhesive is the only glue you can use for this. It really has to be the Oasis Flow Adhesive, not hot glue. And then the wrap bristlet. It's perfect from the Oasis Company. That's going to be the base. A little bit of decorative, some bullion wire. Now I'm going to show you how to do a coordinating ring using a ring blank. Of course, ribbon, maybe some mega beads. And then I'm going to use the flower die from Design Master and tint the bracelet. So I started with the standard white. That's the only one I ever buy. And then I paint them into whatever color I want so that they coordinate with the flowers. To support all your flowers, you want to place base materials down first. Now the Oasis Flow Adhesive sticks best if you let it dry a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put just a bit of glue on the tab, then set the glue aside and make my bow because that way it'll start setting. It gets a little bubbly. That's how you know it's ready to go. Now as I make my bow, I don't need a center loop because that's where the flowers are going to be but I want it to be fluffy and beautiful, very feminine. Just about five loops on each side, guessing there, giving it a cut. You can always go back and add extra streamers if you like them. Then wiring that off. Pulling it out and about, removing the wire then, you don't need that. Then taking just a tiny dab of glue on the bow itself. That way you'll have glue to glue to make sure that it holds well. Then letting the streamers come out and just placing it directly on. Remembering the band will go this way, so you want the link this way. Got it. There we go. Then for interest, taking a bit of the bullion wire, just pulling it out. And then crushing it. Just wadding it together, crushing. So all I want is a little bit of sparkle and to pick up the purple from the band. Then pushing it down, a dot of glue. Doesn't take very much because it's so delicate and then placing that down into the center and letting it sit before I add flowers. The trick for when you add your flowers is to start with the accent materials and end with the important blossoms because that's going to be on the top. So you do that very last. So I start with a bit of foliage, maybe some of the astrancha for texture, little bit of the rice flour, again for texture, and gluing that in. Now again, it's so delicate that it doesn't take very much glue. Just a dab will do you. And then lift between the loops of the ribbon and insert. Leaving the center part open because that's where I'm going to tuck in the orchids. You can see adding the texture just makes it look so beautiful. And texture is one of the top trends for 2017, so you want to make sure you have plenty. Again, lifting the loops and setting. You can go back then, add in the succulents. See, I'm just cutting them off. Adding with glue.
thinking about how it's going to sit on the wrist. Then as I go along, thinking about the orchids, again, just cutting them directly from the stem and then placing them so that they talk to each other. Their faces should each look inward towards the center and then just a little bit of glue doesn't take very much. Right on the base. And set it in place. As a final touch, taking a moment and adding a little bit of bling. The mega beads are grand. I just cut them off, remove the wire. And then again, using the glue, just a dab. Let it begin to set. And then just tucking it right down in. Adds a touch of sparkle. And a little bit of fun to the corsage. The mechanics for the coordinating ring are the same. You start with the base materials, a bit of the bullion wire, wadded and crushed, bits of materials, the leaves, the flowers, put a little bit of glue on the ring base, set it down, let it begin to dry, so it'll do better after it's dried a bit. A little glue on the floral material, set it down. Then taking the bits, just placing them together. I put the flower on so that the glue doesn't come through onto my fingers. That's why I did that. It's a little bit of a hint. A little bit more glue then. And tucking in the rice flour. And most of this will get covered when I add the orchid, but it'll add a little bit of texture that just peeks out from underneath. For the ring, I picked the very smallest Phalaenopsis orchid, put a little bit of glue onto the ring. Again, that'll give us glue to glue. And then a little bit of glue on the orchid. Let them begin to set. And then just very gently set it right into place. A wrist corsage and a ring, a perfect duo for prom. Now one last tip. Remember when you use your Oasis foil adhesive, before you put the lid back on, always put a little petroleum jelly right on the nozzle. That way, when you go to open it again, it won't be stuck glued shut and you can use the glue over and over and over again. Now for more creative inspiration and helpful tips, check out the website, flowerschool.com. If you've got questions, you can reach me through there or pick up the telephone and give me a call at 503-223-8089. And I'd love to see what you create for prom this year. Take a picture, post it on social media and hashtag Floral Design Institute. If you don't have a social media site, send it to my personal email. I'll see you at there, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com. Now it's your turn. Have fun and do something you love.